Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. Before we jump into the latest news, we need to catch up a bit. Here in Iceland, on this peninsula called the Reykjanes Peninsula, a lot has been going on for the past two years. As most of you know, we got an eruption in early 2021, which ended in September that same year. After that eruption, the area definitely didn't go quiet, and just a few months later, in late December, we got another magma intrusion that was on the move until the beginning of January, when it stopped a mere 1,500 meters below the surface. Since then, we've gotten a lot of earthquake swarms in various magnitudes, which were all caused by pressure releases after all this magma movement. Fast forwarding to the last four weeks, and we have some very interesting news, which are the topic of today's video. In these four weeks, we've had some rather strong earthquake swarms in many different areas. The activity is pretty obviously tied to the volcano systems on the peninsula, which I've marked on screen, which is pretty cool and interesting. This just shows how the peninsula is literally awake now. But it's in the last two weeks where the activity has yet again got interesting and exciting. That's because we've detected uplift just east of the last eruption site, which is similar to the one detected before the actual eruption just over a year ago. What we can make out of this is that there's magma building up in a magma chamber which is 16 kilometers below the surface. This means that it's basically between the crust and the mantle, and it looks like it's the same magma chamber that fed the last eruption in Fardasfjall, and it has just now reclaimed its lost magma since that eruption. So at this point, it's yet again expanding and pushing upwards like it did back in early 2021. This doesn't mean that there's gonna be an eruption in the next two weeks, but it also could mean that there's gonna be an eruption in the next two weeks. That's just geology. But on a real note though, we can't tell when another magma intrusion will occur. It could go unnoticed for some time if it shoots through some weak points in the crust, like the path to Faradarsfjall, which could only take a few days to reach the surface. Just recently, the spotlight, in terms of earthquake activity, has been on Kleivarva, the peninsula's largest lake. It's not clear if it's directly linked to magma, but it sits comfortably between the two most powerful systems on the peninsula, Krisuvik and Brennisteinsfjöll, with the aftermentioned having been rather quiet in the return of the peninsula. That's to be expected though, Brennisteinsfjöll don't seem to be affected by the other systems. So for a quick summary, in the last two weeks, activity has been increasing and we've also detected that the magma chamber under the peninsula is expanding again. This means we can have a new magma intrusion at any time and the intrusions could move unnoticed for some time if they shoot through weak points in the crust. This calls for closer monitoring of the area as things could be getting spicy. But what is going on in other areas of Iceland? Well, if we take a close look at the overall activity, you can see that Reykjanes is the most active by long measures. Activity is at background levels in most areas, with occasional small earthquake swarms in areas like Langjökull, under Skeiðarárjökull, and in the Tjörnesbrota beltið. All of these earthquake swarms are due to the classic plate movements which are tearing Iceland apart. Aska hasn't shown any signs of large-scale magma intrusions, so it seems as if she's going to build up more power before performing. So, the activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula seems to be increasing, and since the land is rising again, it probably won't be long until we have another magma intrusion. But we can in no way confirm that, and on top of that, you have to take into account the fact that 9 out of 10 magma intrusions don't result in an eruption. So, even if one occurs, it's not certain we'll get to experience the lava show. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.